般自殺にきっと役員になっていただいて、投影の作品及びモンキーパンチ先生の制作をするという仕事を今現在やっています。Okay, uh, basically, uh, ACC production started with uh, uh, space cruiser Yamato, and he actually used to work for Toei. And um, he started, uh, he became independent, and he was fully responsible for creating space, space cruiser Yamato. And he gathered all these um, key players from Japanese animation industry. And uh, sort of like he's the uh, entrepreneur in the Japanese animation industry. And now, I think there's more than 30 to 40 major studios that undertake uh, those big uh, film uh, companies that does uh, produce production of animation industry. Okay. Um, now they have, uh, and so far they have produced uh, animations like um, Space Cruiser Yamato, and they were also uh, involved in. I took part in animation since the black and white era. I worked with the Space Cruiser, Astro Boy, and also Gachama. And since I became independent, I started working with Mr. Monkey Punch's Scooper Scrapper, which was aired on NHK. Our company, ACC, specializes in 3D animation. And currently, our new production is with Mr. Yasushi Nirasawa as our character designer, and we mix 2D and 3D uh, in our product. Okay, so that means um, ACC production has been involved in the major um, uh, animation movie like Yamato, and being involved, having uh, Monkey Punch as a director of the company, uh, Lupin the Third that comes in, and when Mr. Sugaya worked for Toei, um, a corporation, he was also involved in um, uh, animations like uh, Atomic Bo uh, was it? Astro Boy. Astro Boy. Mm -hmm. uh, Astro Boy. Is it 28? Okay. And um, so he has a very good connection, well, uh, past connection with uh, Mr. Uh, Tezuka Osamu. And obviously, Monkey Punch is a very close friend of uh, Mr. Tezuka Osamu. And so they uh, are one of the uh, key drivers in the uh, animation movie itself, not just the comics and, and the publications, but the movie itself. 
Now, um, I want to uh, head on to uh, where this Japanese animation, with the industry itself, where we are, and uh, having um, Mr. Christopher Coach from Central Park Media um, come up and uh, join our conversation with us. We'd like to compare the uh, industry difference between Japanese animation industry and U.S. animation industry in terms of what I've just listed up here. Uh, what's the difference between voice actors, production, budgeting, and advertisement? Uh, please welcome Christopher, Mr. Christopher Coach from Central Park Media. Uh, Monkey Punch. Uh, can you tell us about a little difference between, what, what is the main difference between Japanese animation and U.S. animation? And what, what, what do you like to do with Japanese animation and with uh, U.S. animation people or the industry? <笑>ちょっと難しいですね。えっと、あの、基本的にはね、あんまりこう、え、日本のアニメーションも、あの、アメリカのアニメーションそんなに変わらないじゃないかなと思いますけどね。あの、え、なんですかね。あの、アメリ
Uh, one of the effects of that is that visual arts like animation or comic books, um, here, because they are not valued, no one can see beyond the idea that they're associated with things that are only for children. Okay? Um, in Japan, where you have the, the visual arts of printmaking that are you know, a popular art that's also a high art, um, anyone can look at a visual art and say, okay, this is a, an art, it can be made for any audience. Um, in the United States, because you know, of our own cultural attitudes, um, animation and comic books have been categorized and classed as only things that are for children, and therefore it creates a, a hurdle that it's almost impossible for them to, to jump over. Right, thank you. Uh, how many uh, people in this room has been to Japan? Oh, wow. <laughs> and have you, have you guys seen um, have you guys got on the train in the morning and on the way back, where, like in evening time? You see all these um, company people reading anime as they were reading newspapers. So that's, I think, what Chris was saying, that uh, there is a market demand from, from teenagers to 50s or 60s. Um, from the uh, production point of view, uh, Mr. Sugaya, what, what is the big difference between uh, Jap Japan and the U.S.? And uh, what, what, what is, um, you, you're going to be introducing the, uh, the uh, 90 minute uh, movie that is just, you have just completed. Um, what is the big difference between creating animation and bring it, bringing it over to the United States and promoting it, that, that, uh, your, your uh, completed production? What, what, is, what is the uh, big difference and what is the, best, uh, the big hurdle in selling your, your product to the U.S. market? major difference I feel between the U.S. and the Japanese animation is the cost in production. If an animation was to be produced in the States, it would cost 200,000 200, per production for, for 400 cuts. 400 cuts for 200,000 uh, $200, dollars. Do you guys have any idea how much um, Pokemon, one, one movie? cost to produce that movie, or Digimon, or, um, well, Final Fantasy is totally different, but uh, who has an idea how much uh, Pokemon, one movie, 90 minute movie cost? Anybody? What? Is that million? 10 million? US dollars? <laughs> The animation, for say, a 22-minute animation in the States would cost $250,000. Compared to in Japan, a 22-minute production animation would only cost $60,000 in cost of production. Okay, um, now Chris, um, if you think, let's say you have the money. Let's say you have the money and you have the story. You have Monkey Punch and Mr. Sugaya backing up this whole animation story. 